Good Morning for Washington, D.C., Part 3. Hi guys, uh, it's me, Edith, and I am today trying to come with you with a little bit more of information about why I've been here in Washington, D.C. Actually, I came because um, my sister wanted me first to come to visit her at last minute shot. So I agreed to come and see her as last year when we met was last October and another question I want to address today is for example Sasha from Indonesia asked me what was my sister's name my sister's name is Egi you asked me you wanted to hear more about my sister so the reason why my sister is not in the video she's not into much of these things and to have her on one of the first parts of this trip to Washington I can say Sasha it was luck she does have an Instagram, but she's not into putting her life in public. So that's the reason why I did not put a lot about her or a lot about some other people to keep their lives private. Mostly this trip has been a trip to gather with my family. Like for example, we are six ladies, part of my sisters, which is from my first dad's marriage. I have very, very long, I don't see them, about five, six years. So that's mostly what I've been here in Washington. It's just family gathering. with you guys maybe she will kill me but Sophia I must say that it has been many years of me seeing videos of you seeing your winning contest of dancing and your performances are so beautiful I was happy to see you performing you look so beautiful I am so proud of you you were the best in that group and your cheerleader team did perfect for me beautiful it filled my heart in a different way because I really dream I really dream so badly to see you doing this I am so proud of you Sophia and I wish you all the best I am sure I am so sure you will go so far in life
I want to take the chance uh, of this video uh, to apologize to my entire family. I know I am a very friendly person, very charming, always positive this and that, but what people don't know when it comes to contact with people, keeping it warm, I am not bad at that. When it comes to testing, it's easier. But when we are so far away, it's really hard for me to keep the contact because I don't pick up phone and I call. Sorry, mom. I know I don't call you. It's not that I don't love you. It's not that I don't love you guys. Sorry to my nephews and sorry to my sisters. I tried to contact with people, but when I'm not close to you guys, it's really, really hard to keep that closer contact because we are not seeing each other so i am quite sure if we were maybe in the same country or whatever this would be totally different because i could drive to you i could see you more often and i know that maybe i haven't been the best aunt in the world but i've been trying lately to change that so yes guys michael sofia victoria gugu me Gabrielito and all the others I am really 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 sorry I am ashamed that I am not like this woman that take pick up the phone and calls everybody that knows me see that once I am there I am full for you guys and I wish distance um, was not in between us to really have a better contact Love you, Michael. I will add you on Snapchat and I hope this time you do answer my test. Because believe it or not, guys, I have a nephew who is such a lovely kid, but he doesn't answer his iMessage, doesn't like this stuff. He only uses Snapchat. So, Michael, I'm adding you Snapchat. I hope you're happy. You did not appear on the video, but I still love you. Gabriela, you are gorgeous. You don't need to change anything. You are perfect and you're my niece don't forget that and i love you i love to play with you i love to watch movies it was good to catch up and to see you guys and i miss you and i hope to really really see you soon love you guys love you ernesto love you car love you eggy love you everyone love you gabby love you vicky love you ev love you rich and love you all love you nice i don't forget you jeremy where are you we need you in the family